intro. Uh, bonjour les poules. Comment est-ce que vous ça va bien? Because <laughs> I'm talking to plural, I don't know. Right, the chickens have been fed. You probably did it this morning. Anyway, good morning from the southwest of France. Yeah, so Darren and I are going to be starting up our own uh, motorcycle group. Um, I don't know. So what should we call it? Sons of Agony? <laughs> um, yeah, there's only two of us so far. With the, with the option of, of getting a third at some point. I've got a question. What's your claim to fame? Who's the most famous person you, you, that you've ever met? For me, was um, was Paul Hollywood. I was out on my motorbike in uh, in Rye in East Sussex. I think it was last. It was the year before last. Was it? I don't know. Um, and it was midweek, and I yeah, just pulled over in a car park, and uh, and he came in on his uh, on his hundred thousand uh, pound Ducati Panigale, uh, and we had a chat. And, uh, and I told him that I'd worked in a bakery when I was 16. I didn't say it was a Tesco bakery. I wanted a bit of kudos. But as a result of working in a bakery, uh, I now no longer like the smell of freshly baked bread, which I know some of you will find weird. And he said he's the same. But the other famous person I sort of met was Rod Stewart. Um, when I was a police officer, um, I went on the Crime Watch. And for, for those of you that, that don't know the UK, Crime Watch is a, um, is a TV show. Uh, in, in the UK, um, where we appeal for witnesses for crimes and we do um, dramatisations and reenactments. Now, given that this attack happened to a man and there can be particular problems related to people coming forward with this kind of attack, there could be other victims out there. Yeah, that's right, and nobody sh should suffer in silence. Uh, the victim has been extremely brave in coming forward to us, and if there are any victims out there, I need them to be inspired by the victim's bravery and come forward and speak to us to stop these extremely dangerous individuals. There could be men who are other victims, but also these two you think could strike again and it could be anyone at all. Well, we can't say that this is sexually motivated and we can't say that it's racially motivated either. We don't know that the next, that the next victim could be a man, a woman or even a child and we need anyone to come forward so we can stop them. We certainly do, Rob. Thanks. For so, I did a bit of filming for that back in 2010. At the BBC studios, held the door open for Rod Stewart, and he didn't say thank you. Yes, let us know in the comments. Um, right, Richard Hall, you're not allowed to do this. Because um, <laughs> he's met George Clooney, and Morgan Freeman, and probably God. So, on the menu today, got some really, really exciting stuff today. I need to go to the recycle centre for the jam jars. I need to exchange the gas bottle of the local Carrefour and I also need to put fuel in the fuel uh, can so I can fill up the garden tractor and mow the field. <laughs> I'll take you with me. Let's do that. Do you want to know what I actually, actually listen to in the car? My own YouTube music. Sad. Anyway, <laughs> doing all, doing the, doing this all wrong. Uh, cue slow mo. <laughs>
the lawnmower guy uh, last year because they didn't uh, clean off the lawnmower uh, <laughs> irregularly enough so I carted it so um, yeah gonna have to maintain that now uh, anyway got more stuff to do that uh, I'm not filming so I'll see you tomorrow done any any filming today I've made another curry as I've said um, I'm gonna go down and see Wally anyway I've got something to ask you so so a few weeks ago <coughs> when I uh, got my carte de séjour I had to pay 225 euros which I think is actual five euros for the card and 200 euros in tax so Lisa had the same notification through the other day saying that she could go and collect hers at a cost of 405 euro. Now, if it was uh, 450, I'd understand that they'd accidentally doubled it. But 405 euro just doesn't make sense. We've researched it everywhere. And, uh, let's see. Check. 
I saw a fox. No, it's a cat. In the distance. <clears throat> um, yeah, from researching everywhere and from talking to other people, it's 225 euro. So we don't know what to do um, in terms of challenging it because it, it's all electronic. Yeah, the only the only other option seems to be to go down to the prefecture again, take a number, and wait and wait a couple of hours to ask a question, or do we just buy a stamp for two hundred twenty-five euros and go to collect the card? And uh, if they query it, we say we don't understand why it's four hundred five. It's two hundred twenty-five euros for everybody else. Just let me know what you think. So we we were told that Wally doesn't like cows. But uh, he's hanging around with them. Anyway, here he is. Hello, sunshine. You had a good day? Yeah, that'll be the curry. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the weather's not very good today. So, uh, yeah, we might bring him up tonight to go into his, into his little house. Anyway, yeah, so for this weekend, I'm going to do a live on Sunday. I enjoy doing them. It'll be six or half six. Have a look for the notification when it comes out later. Um, and that'll be six, half six um, French time. So apologies for those who live on the other side of the world that, that would like it a little bit later. But it's going to interrupt, interrupt with my tea, my dinner. Yeah, not that a massive amount of people watch it anyway. But, but for the few that are there, everyone gets involved. And, uh, and we have a good chat. I'm going to try and make it not last for two hours this time. Uh, because people are going off having the, having the dinner and uh, coming back to the telly and I was, I was still rabbiting on as my mum says yeah so um, tomorrow we've got friends um, yeah that we that we know from school coming around with their with their children is he following me? no um, and then on Monday the um, it's the SPA um, are coming around to do a, a house check to see whether we'll be suitable for uh, an adopted ho an adoption horse. So they've all already seen the video uh, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the photographs uh, yeah, that we've sent them. So we've obviously got through that part of the triage and then they're going to come out, hopefully sign a contract and be happy with the fence and the garden and the land and stuff. So uh, it's slowly, slowly catchy horsey. I don't know whether I've, uh, whether I've mentioned it because I, I haven't edited any, any part of the video yet. So... Um, it was scary yesterday when I was uh, when I was mowing, and then suddenly the blade just fell off. But anyway, I've sorted it now. Yeah, so have a great weekend, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. Leaves one last thing left to say, and it's not from me. Naters.